So we're trying to revive this rad power battery. This was donated to EVLC as a dead bike. Um, this is the old battery, which had no key. We went and got a blank key, which by the way, fits all power wheels, rad power, sorry, uh, bicycles, it seems. There's one universal key that fits them all. So this one is dead. You can see when you press the power meter, I don't get anything. I measured the voltage on these two pins at the bottom and they are zero. Now I verified with a good battery, if you press the power meter, you get something. Although this battery is empty, I do have at least a red light. And when I tested voltage across these two pins here on the bottom, I could see 42 volts. So it's empty, but it's still a good battery. On this other battery, I suspect that internally the BMS has cut out because the battery is too dead, too drained, and it's preventing it from being used or being discharged. But uh, we'll find out. First step was to get all these fiddly screws out of here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them at least. I'm not sure if these two have to come off yet. We're going to go find out. It feels like that's coming, but it's going to require some persuasion. Now, warning, if you don't know what you're doing, don't try this at home. You can easily hurt yourself, pinch yourself, drop it on your foot, or worse, electrocute yourself, or cause a lithium battery fire. So, uh, be careful. I'll zoom in. There are these little... Nope, more tools needed. I'm carefully taking my bicycle tire pry tool and trying to t pry this apart. Here's some yeah, there's adhesive some, being yeah. pulled apart. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay, we have battery guts. Ooh, this thing looks nasty. Looks like it's been on the bottom of the ocean. You can see all this corrosion and nastiness there. That in itself is a bad sign. Here's a broken wire going to the fuse. Also a bad sign. Oh, I might have just broke that right now, or it might have always been broken. We don't know. This uh, obviously has water intrusion. Water got into this battery, and uh, probably that's what killed it. Um, before we go on unwrapping this thing and this connector fried, okay, which is the power indicator. So not only did this wire come off, but we didn't do this just now. This must have. This must have short-circuited. Obviously, there's water got into this battery, and I'm guessing that's what that is what has killed it. <clears throat> uh, probably little hope of getting this battery back, but let's go see uh, how many of the cells in here are good and how many are bad. We try to figure out the best strategy to get this wrap off of the batteries. Um, thing is I would go at it with a razor blade except I don't want to short anything with my metal razor blade. Uh, probably if I had a ceramic razor blade that didn't conduct electricity I would do that but I don't want to do this with a metal razor blade. Yeah this thing is nasty. So what do you have here? Those are the main, that's the main voltage coming out of this thing. That's the main power that goes down to this connector. And I think we verified before we had zero. Let's just double check. Yeah, because the indicator light was damaged that wire, so it may not be reading. But no. Yeah. 
Actually, this is where we checked, so that's not, that wouldn't be the issue. Yeah, I have zero, which is also could still just be the BMS cutting it off to zero. That is the, I think it's a near, near zero. So we had no choice but to strip this thing down further. See this battery is just sticky taped to this backing plate. There's just a bunch of uh, tape in there, so I'm going to try to gently pry it away without breaking and shorting and lighting anything on fire. And you see shrink wrap for the for the battery itself. Yeah, there's shrink wrap on the cells of the battery. You can see these over here, this is the connection to the to the bike, and I don't want to damage that yet. Mm -hmm. Alright, one step further. Yeah, we're just going to have to start cutting into this thing carefully. It'll be surgery. I just scored it from the, the this side. Yeah, this is yeah. some kind of protective layer here, so it's a safe place to cut. Sure do wish we can separate this in some way. I see battery cells. They're Samsung's. They're good batteries in here. Look, it also says 766 inside here. Yeah, I'm pulling this. Ugh, yee, ooh, nasty. Yeah, this battery is screwed. Seen better days. It's seen days. This isn't one of them. This uh. This got completely wet and then shorted inside, it seems to me. I think they're going to find that we're going to find this thing is completely dead. Uh, which is good. It means it's not going to blow up in here. Not going to short because it's got no energy. Well, let's find out for sure. I'm going to measure here to here. I got zero. Here to here. Zero. Here to here. Zero. Oh, there's something there. There's 3.1 volts here. And in this crusty mess, I haven't expect, oh, well, shit, there, see, there's 3.6 volts in this crusty mess. So, um, you know, there's a possibility this is all just surface damage, but I don't know. Yeah, see, well, heard a popping noise and got scared there just a shrink wrap okay so from here to here we do have voltage here to here we got voltage here to here we got nothing the cleanest looking batteries are the most dead so this is uh, not repairable you can totally rebuild this you'd have to you'd want to replace all of these cells at the same time and uh, the carriers are still here, but I think you'd be better off using this battery connector here and putting your own battery on here and, and going with that instead. We're on the hunt for the BMS. 
Yeah, it's probably in the mess on the other side there. But I'd be very surprised if there was no BMS in this thing. There's the BM crusty S. The BM dead ass S. So I think this it must have taken this bicycle out of the bottom of a lake. <laughs> Look at that. Look how nasty that is. There's no way this battery is going to work. Alright, well. This is an X battery. It is bereft of life. I'm going to... Yeah. 